The problem says that the object is projected at 20 feet per second from the top of a hill. So let's say that's the hill. This is projected from here and it is projected horizontally. So the angle alpha is zero, zero degree. It hits the ground after three seconds. What is the height of the cliff and how far away does the object land? So maybe it lands here and we need to find this distance which let's say x and we need to find the height h now u is given 20 feet per second and we need to find the height so height will be half gt square uh, sorry ut plus half sorry the half will, uh, height will be half gt square g is the gravitational acceleration and u there won't be any ut because the u will be zero u sign zero degree so initial velocity downwards is zero because it is thrown in this direction that means the horizontal component is the only velocity component the vertical component is zero so we have that we can find height from this equation so g is 32 and t is 9 uh, 3 square so 9 so that will be 16 times 9 which is 144 feet that's height and then we need to find how far it lands how far away it lands so that will be let's say x x will be u cos alpha it generally that's the thing when it's the horizontal component but cos alpha alpha is zero so that's just u times t so u is uh, forgot the velocity so 20 so 20 times 3 so that will be 60 feet so it will land 60 feet away from the from the cliff basically so when we wanted to find the distance uh, far, uh, how far away it landed we just used the horizontal component which is u cos alpha but alpha is zero degree so that was just u and vertical component for uh, how long how high the cliff is when we wanted to find out that would be u t u sine alpha t plus half g t square but sine alpha is zero since alpha is zero so we discarded that this part could have had uh, this one but doesn't it is uh, it it didn't matter because alpha is zero.